all our levels are looking good. You've got to get. I'm right here. Are so you, good? you don't talk to the top of that mic. Where do you well, want me? Underneath? Try to point the top of the mic directly at your mouth. Yeah, I'll just do this. How do you like this? Um, do you like it? Come on, tell me you love it. That's good. All right, great. Kiwi. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> we got... This is going to be funny. Turn Are off you talking can- to the mic again? Yo. Turn off Candy Crush. Turn Let's off Candy concentrate. Crush. <laughs> yeah. Angry Birds. What is that? Tetris? I don't have any games on my phone. Missile Command. <laughs> Not a single one. Not a single game on my phone. Oh. But I do got Joe's. You get the calculator on your phone? Oh, yeah. Classic. How? What's your screen time like? How often are you on your phone? Me? Like, you want me to actually pull it up? Because I don't know how to do that, no. but I can. We make up fake statistics. We got to keep oh, this okay. rolling. Oh, oh, we're right now. Confidence. Yeah, we're, on, we're live. This are, is our oh, shit. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, what the this fuck? Is, this is oh. the show? Yeah, we were talking about, like, the rules to the show. All right. What a lame cold open. <laughs> and how, you know, we're not going to use, like, F-bombs and stuff like that. Yeah, no foul language. No foul language. Hello, we're <laughs> the Elite Dweeb Squad. Pod. Pod. We're dolphins. Let's try it again. Hello, we're the Elite Dweeb Squad Elite pod. Dweeb Squad, baby. Ow! Can you uh, put in dolphin noises after that? Mm-hmm. We're all dolphins. Done. Good. Uh, I'm at Lear Show. I'm a, I'm a dweeb, a, a nerd, and a geek. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. And over here, we've got... I'm Kiwi. Um, Kiwi Bugs. At Bugs. Um, longtime geek, longtime fan of uh, all things nerdy. Nice. And you're going to explain what that means later. Yeah. Later. Oh. We're going to explain what nerdy and geek means okay, great. in a little bit. All right. I am, as always, uncredited. Continue. All right. Okay. Man we mystery. have a mystery yeah. third guest. That Man no of one mystery. Knows. It could be anybody. It I could, could be, be Bosley from Charlie's Angels. I could be a supercomputer controlling everything that happens. I have this little chart here. This is the geek nerd dweeb Venn Venn diagram. Oh, this is what good. does Venn stand for? Anybody? Oh, uh, see, uh, uh, no. that means that we don't have much intelligence. Intelligence. Oh uh, no. Our our current vibe since we're just starting the show is showcasing a lot of social ineptitude. Mm. Mm. Um, but we are obsessive people. Uh, I'm obsessive about G.I. Joe's, which is the topic of today's show. Um, what are you obsessive about? I have to cut the tags out of all my underwear. Um, what that would qualify in the dorky section, I would think, of Obs- the obsessive. Venn diagram yeah. of nerdiness. You're, you're moving to the dork? You're quitting being a dweeb? Oh, no, I'm or a dweeb. We- I'm based off of your um, diagram. I'm saying that uh, is a quite... The obsession. That's a pink on pink diagram. Very hard to read. Very hard to read. I got a deal on salmon colored paper at the thrift store for three dollars a ream. Mm-hmm. I bought every single one of them, and all everything I print is in uh is in this. Nothing wrong with pink. Do all your office supplies come from the thrift store? Because <laughs> that's a way to live. Pretty much everything yeah. I have comes from the thrift store. From Second the clothes hand. I wear to the friends I hang out with. Me and Kiwi we met at a thrift store. Fantastic. Do we have G.I. Joe's in this episode? I don't think I remember that. Oh, we do. Everyone's clear on what a dweeb is? What's a dweeb? Pop quiz. (laughs) Pop quiz, man. What's a dweeb? Socially inept. Yeah, someone who gets bullied, for sure. Someone that doesn't know what a Venn diagram is. But with intelligence. Mm, That I would think that's more of a... Well, that's like a nerd. Well, a nerd is then that sweet point that everybody wants to be in the middle. Everyone says that they're a nerd. I'm a nerd because I'm really obsessed. Do they say that? Who's saying that? A lot of people, they wear the glasses with the no. Oh, the hipsters. The glasses. Being a nerd's really cool. You can be a nerd at Walmart now. You can buy like a bunch of nerdy, geeky shirts. You know, you got the geek squad. You got dweebs are underrepresented. And we're here today. I, I feel like. Today, now more than ever, like that's the majority is the ones that with the obsessions and the like, I think now the world caters to the geeks. I think it's the opposite. Like now the underdogs have risen 
and this is like a time like what a time to be alive i'm always saying that because i mean just with media's portrayals of comic books and like non-stop superhero things and you know that could be a little grating to some but it's just like what a time to be alive if you're a geek i missed all of that Did you? <laughs> all right i'm a i'm a dork i don't know if i was a geek i would have had more attention to that thing i, I think <laughs> I don't know. Modern it's- times is the best time right now is the best time to be a geek because I feel like the world really caters to it. And I, f- I understand the whole nostalgia of the 90s and, and past eras, but I feel like right now you get the, the best of, of all worlds, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit obsessive. We're a little bit nerdy. We're a little bit of, a little bit of everything. But I think a lot of people don't identify as, as a dweeb these days. There was a show on SNL. Remember Geek, Nerd, or Dweeb? It was a contest with Mike Myers hosting. And whoever, you know, you had to guess all the people on the show. And you would, you would get points by, you can play a clip now. That would be great. Oh, that was a great clip. Wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't that a good clip? Everybody? I love that clip. Oh, man, what a clip. You got a lot of G.I. Joes in a glass case over here. I do. Um, usually you find these like in dirt in someone's yard or, uh, at one of your thrift stores underneath some stationery and, uh, like a sort of discount post-it notes, but I'm looking at this glass case full of GI Joe's and I, I would love to, uh, discuss some of Let's this. talk about GI Joe's. That's why we're here. Yep. Uh, let me get my military grade jacket on to discuss things. Oh. Gearing up. I was a GI Joe collector as a child. Who were, were you? This of course. Un- cash check uncredited? That's it. I, I collected all of them. What was, year did you start? Mad Joe's. Uh, I don't know, like... 80s, Mad Joe's. 87, 88, somewhere around there. I got in a little late, and it was hard to get the older figures, so I'm more of like the 90s... I thought you were like a 2023 20, type of guy. So I was a 12-year-old, if I could get the stupid jacket on... Is that Dharma <laughs> Initiative jacket? That, knowing that I had a bunch of G.I. Joes from 92 and 93 means that I was still buying G.I. Joes and I was buying like Nirvana records at the same time. All right, so I, all right. Yeah, I kind of maybe you. hung on with toys for a little bit late in life. I mean, I'm, I'm not into them anymore. Yeah, no. Even well, though they're cl- clearly all over my home. Um, yeah, a lot of toys in here. Are we all toy collectors? Oh, yeah. Oh, sure, if, yeah. If obviously. we're anything, if I'm anything. What toys do you have the most of? For me, it's G.I. Joe's. Furbies. Furbies and uh, like Hello Kitty memorabilia. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things. Like Pokemon toys. Um, but definitely Furbies. Yeah, my, my collection's quite eclectic, but my favorite is uh, Cake Toppers. Oh, so they're yes. Little PVC characters from the 90s that used to go on cakes. Yeah. Dick Tracy. Cake toppers. Got a lot of those. Toppers, got a lot of those. <laughs> Missed yeah. cake toppers. Disney entirely. afternoon. Really? Did you ever have a cake? Did you have a birthday? Did you have parents? I, I didn't have a lot of cakes in my life. Mm. Did you? Did everyone have a lot of cakes in, uh, in their life? No, but I do. Like, I. Now that you're saying it, like, I never really had them as a kid, but I collect them now. But yeah. I, I don't I don't recall ever having one myself. He, he just collects the big wax ones and twos and threes and alphabet letters, like the, the candle letters. Yes. That's what you're talking I about? I play with candles, yes. All wax right. toys. So let's get a candle going. Talking Joes. <laughs> okay. Talking Joes. I got to get this candle on. It's very important. Um, we're but, here today to talk about the... Best G.I. Joe hats of all time. Can you go ahead and put that in the camera so everyone can see the flame? Yeah. Now could you extinguish that so we're not the, inhaling the campfire. paraffin? Thank you, yeah. Paraffin wax the whole time. Thank you. <coughs> we got two candle haters. <laughs> One, two, two v one. Candle is, is, is extinguished. In, Who knew? Enclosed spaces and candles aren't really. All right. So we're going to talk G.I. Joe's. That's that's mm-hmm. what this podcast is about. Oh, this this podcast is about G.I. Joe's. This is a new show. That was our backstory. Everyone gets it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, N- nostalgia nerds. Yeah, we're dweebs. Just, we're nostalgic dweebs. And we like a lot of different things, but we're not necessarily obsessed with certain things. But 
Speak for yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess yeah. maybe we Obsession are runs strong in my blood. <laughs> what about you? I don't even know what obsession is. I'm completely uh, narrow path, middle of the road. Oh. All right. Bro's the Dalai Lama. <laughs> 